we've got there's a little bit of hay. But where there's hay, there's hot rod magazines. September 64. And then be staged photo with a 671 blower, Chrysler power. And what we got? The new 1965 Corvair. What did they love that car when it was new? Yeah, modifying the Mustang V8, fastest bit of all, world record drags for V8 power for Corvair. It didn't take them long, huh? <laughs> the car was brand new and they already had a V8 power, probably the early model. Oh, these magazines are great. Yeah, there it is. Going through the curve. 65 Corvair, all independent rear suspension. Corvette suspension. Yeah, the blurb. Four carburetor Corvair. 65 disc brakes on the Ford. Jim didn't put them on until 67. Optional disc brakes for the front of the Mustang. Hey, look at this. Cadillac. <laughs> Turbine powered. Here's your East Coast Corvair headquarters. Hank's Hank Speed Shop. Shop. Berwyn. Berwyn, Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's I like looking at those cars for sale. Oh, yeah. These are crazy cars. Some yeah. of them didn't even have the chops, the chop top. Yeah. You can buy a gun for $3. Hmm. White wall slicks. Here, how about a 63 Ford 427 head valve springs porter polish other thing for 125 bucks? <laughs> yeah, but a guy was only making $75 a week. Or whatever they're making, $40 a week. Your car payment back then in the 60s, late 60s, was 100 bucks a month, was max. Ashley, supercharging the Mustang. Corvette. 343 javelin. Oh, God, crap. Anyways, observer's cold in the winter. Got something to start the fire. 67 SSRS. Cougar GT. The mongoose. The swingin', the swingin' 67. Oh, the swingin' 67. Uh, the swingin' 67. Rings a groovy subject. Blown tang. It makes no difference whether your Mustang's innards are strictly stock or super hot. A few hours of wrench twisting to add a Paxton blower kit. I've got a Paxton blower kit for my Corvair. Would you believe it? Okay. I have a, I have one of these for my Corvair. Complete kit. What do we got there? Ford. Yeah, brand new. Altered wheelbase. Dragster, Dragster in disguise. 429. Look at that. SAC. Yeah, single overhead cam, 429. Boy, those are worth big bucks. Oh, Huge man, the whole money. engine. Well, they, I think they rebop them now, but... Yeah. It's even that's still big, but... Red lines. Ah, uh, red lines, yeah. The original. Remember when you used to put that thing into an oil can? You'd jam it yep. in? Oh, then wow. they made the Then they made the cans out of cardboard, and it would crush the can. Paxton Supercharged. The swinging 67. Do you mean the cardboard pencil cans? Yeah, but that's cardboard. You can't put that in because it crushes <laughs> yeah, it. It will. It crushes it. still has the oil in it. I'm surprised it hasn't really deteriorated. That's good yet. pens oil crude. <laughs> the swinging 67s. Altered wheelbase GTO with Hurst. And here's a Chevelle SS 396 with Hurst wheels. Buick lead sled. Fiberglass car, no problem. We got all the bodies, all fiberglass, ready to go. Sunoco's 260 gasoline. You can't knock it. Lead included. Yeah, extra lead. Enduro Nationals. Blueprinting Buick's 401 for the drags. I've got a 401. Corvette motor with Hal Hellborn fuel injection. Temporarily out of service. <laughs> 383 Barracudas. What year is this? December 66. Huh. In Sweeter, Kroners. 3.9 Swedish Kroners. The Swedes of all the European countries are by far the most car crazy. There's more American cars at a car show in Sweden than there are European cars. Here's the SOC. Yeah. The sauce manifold. It's just a little hot, huh? That thing is friggin' cooking. 
full details on Ford's overhead cam 427 Hemi. This isn't the overhead cam, though, I don't think. Or maybe it is. Look at that cover in the front. Olds had a double overhead cam. They were going to introduce it for 71. There's a picture of it on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine. Double overhead cam for 71. Cancelled. I just can't imagine that. keeping timing and stuff. The Batmobile. Flush cycle. Fireball 500. June 66. George Barris. Some people have imagination. The Hearst Harry Olds. Double engine. 327 El Camino. There was a beautiful one at Muscle Palooza a couple of years ago. A 327, 325 El Camino with 20,000 miles. Original paint car. Boy, I would have bought that thing. I got a good video of it. I wanted $25,000. It's a lot of money. It was worth it. I would have bought it. Yeah, European. Overhead cam 6 in a Le Mans. Convertible. Where's that El Camino? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's corner and just perfect. Nice and flat. How about the tip over. What motor is this thing got? 327, 300? Or 327, 325? Full coil springs dwarfed by a freighter of different sizes. I don't like the 66 body. What motor? 327 quadrajet carburetor. Crazy. Yep. Time traveling. Four cylinder. Drake's new Think about coffee. That, 525 horsepower in what year? 66 out of a four banger. That's yep. even impressive today. Supercharged with fuel injection. Yep. 396 Chevelle SS. Golden Commandos. They like the gold alternator. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's a Chrysler 273. GM's new fuel injection. Nobody kept those on the cars. Used to dump them. Carburetor. No one could fix those things. We're having a good time here. The new Corvette from 1968. Alright. Zora Arcus Dunto. Let's go downstairs and see if you got any Corvairs. After we finish looking at this barn with these big friggin' beams. I love it. Even got a carriage. Uh, a sulky. That's a real one, too. Need somebody to make you a new wheel. <laughs> yeah. Ah, We'd fix I that for you. Fix that. Yeah, bring it to my brother. Ah, 1892, right on the gable. Can't see it here, but it's there. Love it. Did you cut that in there? Oh, you bum. Huh? But it is. The downstairs, the yeah, corner no, I know. Love it. Love it. Yeah, you did a good job too.